night, friends. Let's see who's hanging out and about today. How are you all? Um, when you pop on, if you could say hello, that would be fantastic so I know who's here. Um, please, please, please share the video. That is always very, very helpful to me. And yeah, I'm going to pull out some markers while we are waiting. Oops, I'm going to hit the camera and make you all seasick. Miss Sandy Ladoohoo, hello. How's your drive going, my love? All right. Jennifer, hello. How are you, sweetheart? Nine. Interesting W8. Where is W8? There it is. W8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, double zero. Well, I paint a pair of tennis shoes to look like pencils. That's awesome. Awesome. And then I have colorless blender. Okay. Um, Sandy, can you tag uh, Tyler and Cameron, please? Since you're tagging away, that would be fantastic. And also Leah. That would be awesome. Um, again, please share the video. We're going to get started here. So this is one of our brand new stamp sets from the... Um, March release. I don't even know what month it is because that's how awesome I am right now. Um, so this one is called Age is Irrelevant and um, it's got some cute sentiments. It's got these cute little hearts for the little baby to be um, blowing out of his trunk or her trunk. It's got the mama elephants. This could be mama or daddy and baby. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with this. I thought this would be a great set for Mother's Day. Um, or for Father's Day, or for birthdays. Um, this could be like a good luck card, the make a big first impression. It could be good luck. Um, it could be encouragement because this says, when an elephant is chasing you, you'll be amazed at what you can do. And that's a Kenyan proverb. Um, or even just like a thinking of you type thing because, you know, an elephant never forgets. So, um, very versatile stamp set can be used for tons and tons and tons of different things. Um, hey, Rachel, how are you? So I have stamped the two elephants on Sweet Sentiment coloring paper. And just so you guys know, cross your fingers, I have 3,000 sheets that should be here this week. So if you are wanting coloring paper, um, all of my uh, girls have affiliate links as well as Becky Roberts and Lydia Fiedler. So um, you can choose one of the design team affiliate links or you can use um, Becky's or Lydia's affiliate links if you know either of them and order some paper. Um, yes, we did start an affiliate program, so you will see a couple of affiliate links floating around out there. But anyways, so I've stamped these two elephants on Sweet Sentiment paper using um, Memento London Fog. I wanted them to have that gray because obviously I'm going to color them gray. So I really, really wanted to have them um, be stamped in that gray color. So we're going to get started. Um, I have pulled out all of my W's and I'm just going to pan the camera up a little bit so you can see. There's all my W's. And I like to use the W's um, when I'm coloring stuff that is alive, essentially. Um, if it has a heartbeat, I like to use my W's or my T's because they have a warm base to them. Um, you can use your C's for the elephants, absolutely. It's just it's a cool gray, and so it tends to make them look cold. And to me, cold things tend to not be alive anymore. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Hey, Cameron. 
Um, and yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to start out fairly dark and I'm actually going to start with my W7. Like I said, you can use any of the grays that you want. I just tend to use my W's or my T's. Um, I'll actually even sometimes use my N's for this, but you know, that's how it goes. Um, please feel free to share. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. The more people we share these videos with, the better, because we're trying to get everybody over to this group. Um, but you can feel free to share this video into different groups, um, like Stamp Junkies or anything like that. I know a lot of those groups are available for you to share live color alongs. So um, that would be amazing. And again, the more people we get over here, the better, so that everybody can see what's going on at your favorite stamp company. Um, Sandy, can you tag uh, Julie Giles? And, oh, Nona, hello! Nona and Aunt Candy are here. Hooray! Um, Nona, can you tag Mama Sherry, please? She loves elephants. Who else absolutely adores elephants? I know there's a lot of you out there. I had a lot of requests for an elephant stamp set. So I like to break things down kind of piece by piece. So what I'm doing right now is putting in some shadow. And it might look like I'm just outlining stuff, but I'm not. Um, I mean, it kind of appears that way because I'm trying to leave just a very little bit of shadow. But you notice I've shadowed here because the her head and trunk would block that sun. So it's a cast shadow. Her head is casting a shadow onto her leg and chest. Um, so I'm leaving a nice thick shadow there. And then where her leg is bent, there would be a shadow where this skin is tough um, deep in there in her knee, there would be shadows there. Also, this side of her leg is away from the sun. So since it's farthest away from the sun, I'm gonna go ahead and put some shadow in here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow around her toenails. Um, Lydia Fiedler just colored this. She watercolored this. If you are not in her um, Understand Blue um, Facebook group, she does color alongs like all the time um, using a bunch of different mediums. And she colored this elephant. She did watercolor. And it was so amazing. So, so amazing. So if you want to catch the replay of that, feel free to do that. That would be awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my W5 and I'm gonna come in beside that W7 and I'm gonna use this marker to push that marker towards the shadow. So what that means is I'm coming in on this side of it and I'm pushing that marker back to where it was. I don't wanna pull it out because I wanna have contrast here. So if I start pulling that darker color out into the highlight, it will muddy my highlight and it will pull all that dark color out. And I don't wanna have a muddy highlight, I wanna have a nice bright highlight. And so this is also how I'm creating some texture In this elephant's skin is you notice I'm using little brush strokes and I'm not coloring this skin in like completely I'm not coloring it in super smooth because if I lay all of this color in there and color it really 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 smooth you know how an elephant's skin has like all those I don't know different ridges and um, I don't know, I've never pet an elephant before, but I hear it's really cool. 
Um, but anyways, an elephant skin has a bunch of ridges and all of that kind of stuff. So it's not super duper smooth and soft like human skin. So if you color this super smooth and soft, then obviously you have a really super smooth and soft elephant. Um, if you don't, if you color it with these little brush strokes, um, hey, Carrie, isn't it your birthday? Happy birthday. Um, so if you color this with those little brush strokes, you're going to get more texture in the skin and it's going to look a little bit more realistic. Again, I'm always pushing that marker back. Now the reason I went from, so I went W7, W5, and now I'm on W4, is there's a big gap between W5 and W3. Like they look like they're from different color families entirely. So I like to use W4 in the middle of them, even though I generally use like all odds or all evens. Um, in my W's specifically, I like to use this W4. Um, it's just a better transition, I think, because you can see the color difference between four and five, like it's huge. So it takes a second to kind of blend this out. And this is why I like to work in sections because I like to work while my paper is still wet from the previous color. <laughs> hey, you just keep eating that cake, girl. You get it. <laughs> well, happy belated birthday then, chickadee. As far as you're concerned, it's your birth month and you get to celebrate all month long. Now I'm going to go ahead and with this color, this W3, I'm going to color in these toes because again, just like Lydia brought up, I have no idea if an elephant has toenails or toes or whatever. I don't know, but I'm just going to assume that they're kind of dirty and that's, that's how we roll. And now I'm going to go with W2. And I'm gonna kind of work this in. And the more you saturate this, like almost oversaturating it, you're gonna get that texture in that elephant skin. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'll show you up close. See how it creates that kind of texture, that little bit of like mottled um, texture by oversaturating. And this is what I mean oversaturating. Look at how much ink is in that paper. It's through every single layer of that paper. You call it your birthday season? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I want a birthday season. Well, I'm doing a birthday retreat, so that's gonna be so fun. I cannot wait. I want all of you guys to be there. Cause it's gonna be awesome. I know. I was just thinking that today, Nona, about your your birthday crown, your birthday princess crown. It's sitting on top of my Copic markers. Yep. And I was thinking we have to celebrate, like go out to breakfast, maybe get some crafty things going. Maybe a trip to Tuesday morning. All of it sounds fun, right? Okay, again, I'm working in sections. It's just easier for me and for my brain to work it out. I love these elephants too, Sandy Ledoux Hill. Um, it is the entire month. I want to go to the zoo. We should. That would be so fun. I have not been there in years. So we should totally go to the zoo. <laughs> I 
I see nothing wrong with that. They might kick us out of the zoo because, you know, we're crazy like that. But it would be fun. There's a zoo here in Boise, guys. Um, in Boise. We're in Idaho, for those of you that don't know. And there's a zoo here. And uh, it's just a little one, but... Sandy, have I ever taken you to the Boise Zoo? I don't think I have. I guess you better get here, girl. I thought you were driving. I thought you were on the road. I told you not to pull over. Crazy girl. Sandy's driving. One of her friends had surgery, and so she's going to go take care of her friend. Because Sandy is a good person like that. And then I told her she had to come to Idaho. I know. So I'm just going to, I'm just doing the same motion over and over. It's just like the whole wash, rinse, repeat scenario. You're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. Oops. And not forget to color those elephant toes. Isn't there some dessert called elephant ears? Sandy's my bestie. That's right. Sandy's my bestie. Sandy, I was just talking to Barry not very long ago. It's a dough pastry. Yeah. I want one. I want to know what an elephant ear tastes like. It's a large scone you get at the fair. Oh, like a scone? Huh. It's like a huge funnel cake. There is nothing wrong with funnel cakes, except for at Disney World, the funnel cakes are stolen from you. Um, by seagulls. I had a seagull steal my funnel cake. Um, and they're aggressive. Holy crikeys. They're so aggressive. The seagulls there. Cameron, have you ever had that happen? Because let me tell you, girl. Ooh, it's scary as all get out. Those, uh, those seagulls there are the real deal. I think they're just so desensitized to people that they just don't care. Because it swooped down. There was like 30 of them. But this one particularly aggressive one swooped down and straight up got in my plate. It's like a donut but covered in sugar. It is fair food. Birds still food in Maui, too. I wouldn't know. I've never been to Maui. I want to go to Maui. Actually, I don't. I want to go to Oahu. But I have to get in shape first because I want to hike up Diamond Head. I hear it's amazing. And I am not. I'm not in amazing shape. I don't think that I could make it to the top of Diamond Head right now. Okay. No seagulls, but I have had a squirrel try to get Charlotte's snack. <laughs> Squirrels are cute. Seagulls are just mean. I don't like the seagulls. They're gross and mean. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to color like just the center part of his body. So he's going to look kind of weird. 
for a minute. Funny you should mention that I am going to Oahu in May. <gasps> Nona! And you're going without me? Rude. I better get a souvenir. Listen to me, I'm all demanding. Nona, I need a souvenir. I'm all threatening her. I better get one. I wasn't consulted about this trip. Just so you know. We have a very sad granddaughter over here. <laughs> okay, as long as I get a uh, a souvenir, I'm good. My parents went to Oahu um, when I was super little and my grandma watched us and my grandma as in my mom's mom and my grandma Alvesa was like a crazy lady. Um, she was awesome and uh, yeah, I just remember, like, my parents took my oldest sister, but none of the rest of us. And I remember when they come, when they came home, they got home, like, super late at night. And they had brought us all, like, a bunch of stuff. And so we all got, like, pineapples. And we got, um, because they went to the Dole Pineapple Place. I don't know what it is pineapple fields something like that and um they got us like coconuts they brought us home coconuts obviously this was a long time ago because you can't I don't think you can fly back with that stuff now um and they bought us like we all got dresses and shirts and like just all kinds of fun stuff and hula skirts and yeah it was crazy they brought us back all this stuff and they brought us uh, freshwater pearls. We each got a pearl. It was fun. So since this is a much, much bigger area, I am pulling, notice that I'm pulling that shadow out. It's because this area is so large, I want it to blend a little bit better. So I don't mind pulling that shadow out because I have a lot more room to work with. You'll notice the more and more you play with your markers, um, the more that those, those things will start to be second nature to you on which direction you're pulling the shadows and which direction you're pushing them and all of that stuff. Also, you notice I do rotate my paper a lot. Um, rotating your paper helps you to create blends. Um, you want your wrist to always be comfortable. And so by rotating your paper, you can achieve that. Okay, and so now I'm pulling that shadow back so that I have lots of pretty highlight area. And I'm just using my lightest marker to do that. Okay. And if you pull it back too much, it's fine because you can always come in with another layer and layer it up again. So it's not too, um, I know you hear a squeak, my W3 is um, a little bit dry. Shh. Um, if your marker starts squeaking on your paper, it means that your marker is in need of a refill. And Sandy just called me out on it. Did you hear that? She called me out. So yeah, if you start to hear your marker squeak on your paper, definitely refill. Don't be like me. And just keep using it until it gets like super dry. Because that's how you ruin your nib. It's 
it's fine. I just color anyway. <laughs> Uh, Sandy, that's why I love you, though. <laughs> you totally call me out. I imagine you sitting in your car, like, on the side of the freeway. I hope you're not sitting in your car on the side of the freeway watching this. I mean, I'm glad you are, but <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sandy Ledoux who? I wonder where Leah is. Leah said to tag her. She might have fallen asleep. I think she had a headache, but I can't remember. Are migraines killing all of you guys lately too? I don't know what it is or why it is. But I'm usually not a migraine person, and I've gotten quite a few. And I don't know if it's just stress, or if it's weather, or if it's, like, what it is. I have no idea. <gasps> Kelly! Hey, sweetheart! Long time no see, babe! We're coloring elephants. Heffalumps and woozles. Did you guys see the card that Marsha did with the pink elephant? It totally made me laugh. And I I had to sing the song from Dumbo. The elephant's on parade. Like as soon as I saw it, it was that song was going through my head. I love my design team, you guys. Like seriously, literally, best design team ever. And I'm not just super biased. I am, but um, these girls are smashing it out of the park. Like, how can you not be inspired by what they are posting? I don't know. But, like, Jen and all of her interactive cards and Megan and her cute, bright coloring and Marsha is just so darn creative. Um, Sandy makes a hundred million cards. Like, I have no idea how that girl makes that many cards. Like, good lord. Sandy, you baffle me with your card-making prowess. I have to talk really loud over this part because I'm using my W3 and that's the squeaky one. And I don't want Sandy to hear it squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and I have to color his toes. <laughs> Nobody heard that. <laughs> All right, guys. Invite your friends. Share the video. Everybody who shares the video, I'm going to enter you in a drawing to win a prize. I don't know what the prize is right now, but I have a whole basket full of prizes because I totally cleaned out my stock closet. And so I have everything that's like, I have extra fiber blends from Pammy J., I have um, lots of, uh, I have lots of stuff. I don't know, lots of stuff. So Jennifer shared, thank you, my dear. Um, I have like little card kits. I have um, embellishments. That's the word I'm looking for. I have embellishment packages. I have a bunch of doodle bug stuff. Um, so share the video if you want to be entered to win a prize. And you can share it to multiple places. You can share it to your personal timeline. You can share it in groups. Thank you, Carrie Ann. But it helps. It helps me a lot because it helps people to see, especially since we're trying to switch over to this new group that's public so that you guys can share. Um, because the other group was not public 
and Facebook won't let you change it. So that's why we created this new group. So Jennifer and Carrie Ann have been entered into the drawing. I think all of my W's are starting to go dry. I feel like I just cleaned them and filled them, but now I'm wondering if I did. Because it feels like they're all sticky. Oh, and I might have finally got a line on some Copics. So, FYI, I might be stocking Copics again. I mean, I still have some stock, just not a ton. Um, so, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Very exciting news. Um, like I said, I found a paper mill that had enough of the proper ingredients to make a batch of Sweet Sentiment paper. And, um, so with that being said, um, sometime this week or, well, this coming week or next week, I should have about 3000 sheets come in, hopefully. Um, and so if you want paper, um, please go to the shop and buy some so that you are, on the top of the waiting list. Um, yes, hopefully refills too, Nona. Um, it's going to start with markers and then go into refills. Um, and it's going to take a little bit to get them here because they are coming direct from Japan. But I'm just super excited to be getting them. Um, okay, now we're going to do this elephant's noggin. I'm gonna start with her trunk. So that's exciting news, paper and markers. What are you guys gonna do with this one-stop shop? Um, I don't know if you guys saw all the new products, but I have a ton of enamel dots in stock right now. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Um, Yes, bring an extra bag in November to stock up on refills. That is correct. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have lots of enamel dots. They're super pretty. Um, and rhinestones. And I have some new dyes in the shop, which is super cool. Um, I also have... Buy them all! Buy all the things! Um... What else is new that I got? Um, oh, sequins. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I love hand mixing sequins and I used to do it a lot for other shops that I worked for. And they used to always come to me and have me hand mix all of their sequin blends for them. And it was fun and it was cool and I loved it. However, um, sequins kind of went out for a little while. And now sequins are back. And boy, howdy, are they back with a vengeance. Everybody is using sequins again. It's crazy um, how fast the fad came back. So, came back faster than 80s clothes. <laughs> so, I started hand mixing sequins again. So, they're small batch sequins. And um, they're perfect for shaker cards or to use as embellishments or um, to use like to stage your photos, um, any of that stuff. Sequins are amazing for all of the above. And so basically what I mean by small batch means once a color sells out, I won't necessarily be making that same batch again. So there will always be new colors, new combinations. It keeps everything fresh. 
um, I hate like going to the store and the same thing is there over and over and over as far as far as embellishments and card making. Now, obviously, I love going and getting like my paper every time. <laughs> we like that. Um, but the sequins swoon. They're so pretty. And it's very relaxing for me to mix the sequins. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love coming up with names for them. Naming the sequins is so fun for me. And so sweet sentiment sequins are obviously all named after desserts. Because that's an important part. I mean, they're sweet. So they got to be named after dessert, right? So... Um, what else do we have going on? We have the ATC swap is happening right now. Everybody should have their ATCs to Sandy. They should be postmarked already and on their way, but I guess theoretically you could mail them tomorrow. This elephant looks super weird with just his trunk done. Um, what else? I don't know. There's so much fun new stuff going on that I don't even know. I can't even remember it all. Or maybe that's just my age. Maybe I'm just getting old. Jennifer, didn't you buy all the sequins? I'm putting your business out there. Sorry. I just wanted to see if you got them and loved them as much as I love them. This snail mail needs to hurry up and bring me my package. Oh my gosh, you haven't gotten it? <gasps> Gasp. That is not okay. I mailed that like forever ago. It seems like forever ago. The U.S. Postal System is, like, busted right now, guys. So busted. They're trying. But it's busted. We have our next release coming up. It is the second Saturday of April, so that is the 10th. Looking at my calendar, that's under my desk mat. So April 10th is the next release. You guys are being super quiet. It was forever ago, right? It makes me all like weird when y'all are quiet. <laughs> Okay, I'm weird anyways, but when you guys are quiet, it makes me double weird. I know my Aunt Candy's over there laughing at me. Going, yep, you're weird no matter what. That's why we love ya. I'm babysitting my mom's little dog. He's so cute. His name is Bo, and he weighs two and a half pounds. He's four months old. You finished your shoes? That was fast. Um, so his name is Bo, and he's just over four months old. He was born November 18th, so. Um, but Archie can't stand him. Archie doesn't like him. So... Basically, we're playing a very long game of The Floor is Lava because Archie won't get down. He won't, like, as soon as he gets down, Bo is like, doggy! And he wants to play with Archie, but Archie's 10 years old, and so he has no interest in playing with Bo. And so it's very exceedingly difficult because I feel bad for Archie. Um, and I thought after, like, a couple of days... She snorted her iced tea. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Snorting your iced tea is probably painful. 
Um, and uh, I thought after a couple of days that it would be like all good, but Archie is super not a fan of Bo. Like not at all. So it makes me sad. I guess it's better to snort your iced tea than to snort coffee or cocaine. <laughs> I mean, on a scale of snorting things. Are you guys watching on your iPad, Nona? I love watching these come together. I don't know about you guys, but watching these stamps, especially when you color in pieces like this, like little bits and pieces, how I've been coloring this one, um, watching it come together when you finally start like creating the, the last couple of pieces, um, it's just super satisfying to me. They say that young dogs keep old dogs active. Guess Archie doesn't want to be... Archie has zero desire to be active. Like, none at all. And it's funny because when Gizmo was 10, that's when we got Archie. And so we were considering getting another pup, um, you know, to keep Archie young um, for just that reason. And um, this little exercise in babysitting Bo has um kind of have us shying away from that because we don't want Archie to be this unhappy. And I don't know how long my parents are going to be gone. Um my other uncle is having he had um knee replacement surgery. I totally said cocaine also. <laughs> Right, Tyler? Um, so my uncle had knee replacement surgery. And the doctor told him, um, this is literally the worst knee I've ever seen. I don't know how you are walking. So I don't know how long my parents are going to be gone. So I don't really know how long I'm going to have Bo. And... I, that means I don't know how long Archie's going to be unhappy. It's kind of the long and the short of that. My dog hates all other dogs, so we can't get another one. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Sandy Ladoo Who. I still keep singing the song, Heffalumpin Woozles. It makes me sad when I can't go get another dog. I want to adopt all the dogs. I especially want to adopt a Doberman. So if anybody has a Doberman that they want me to adopt, I mean, just saying. Archie won't be happy, but... What kind of dog do you have, Jennifer? What kind of dog do you have that hates all other dogs? I almost forgot to color his tail. I know I'm like flying through the colors, but his tail is really skinny, so. Or her tail. I'm not 100% sure if this is a male or a female. So. Are all of your guys' kids back in like real school? Or are they still in um like hybrid school 
or online school? Or did you just give up and start homeschooling them? Or did you just give away your children? Oh, that's cute, Jennifer. Maybe it's a Yorkie thing because Archie's Yorkie, Maltese, and Chihuahua. Maybe it's a Yorkie thing. Okay, so now with the elephant's ears, I'm going to grab a couple of my RVs. Um, so I grab like RV91 because it's like a smoky pink. And I don't want the ear to be like pink pink. That one gave them away. <laughs> um, not all males have tusks. No. I mean, yes, males have tusks, but not all of them do because um, poachers cut them off or they fall off or there's like a number of things. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I am not a zoologist by any means, but from what I understand... They, they don't necessarily have them. Can we actually do that? <laughs> I mean, I hear it's a thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I started a new epidemic. Let's all give away our children. We are sick of them. I love how so many of us are, like, willing to. <laughs> We're like, peace out. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. All right. So now I'm going to go to my W2. And I'm going to flip this upside down. And I'm going to color again where the shadows would be. Nope. That's not quite dark enough. I'm going to use W4. Okay. I'm going to color these folds in the ears, just like I would pleats on a dress. I know I just totally lost some of you when I said that. Pleats? Oh, no. <sighs> Gasp. But I don't think an elephant's ears are, like, seriously pink. You totally could draw them on because you're an artist, Sandy, and I am not an artist. So I have every faith that, yes, you could draw them on. Um, I don't have so much faith that I could draw them on. So there's that. So we're just going to pretend that this is a... Uh, I say, why can't I think of my word? Androgynous elephant. There's such a thing, right? There is now. Just like trading in your children. Jen, you have like a bunch. Six and 12 are in hybrid. Two days in person, two days in virtual. And one... Oh my god, are you serious? Ew. That's like really hard to keep track of, right? Or am I wrong? Like, is it easy to keep track of? Or is it like a super pain? Like a super duper pain. And then I'm going to grab my W0. And just blend those pinks and grays together. So it makes it that soft pink. But still has that gray undertone. So that it's not like super unreal or unnatural. That is, like, not a fun time, Jen. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to grab a multi-liner, and this is my point three. It has a slightly bigger tip on it um, because I don't need a super small one for Mama Elephant's eyes. I guess it's a mama since Sandy schooled me on the whole tusk thing. Monday. Don't worry, I'll have to work for about half the day. So it's right about that. Wow. Well, bless you for keeping track of all that. Look, Sandy, I put eyelashes on her, so now she really is a female elephant. Irregardless, because that's a word. See? She's a girl now. And since she's a girl now, I'm going to take this RV91. I'm going to add some pink to her cheeks. Because you know why? It's my prerogative. I can do what I want to do. Tuesday and Wednesday, they both go into school. Thursday and Friday, they both are in virtual class at home. Well, I guess you got it all figured out, girl. I guess you kind of have to. Otherwise, like, they would be in trouble and stuff. Whatever. Good for you. In person two days a week a month ago. It was all virtual. Oh, wow. See, my son has been in all virtual this whole time. No, I'm lying. My son has been in person this whole time. You had virtual on my brain, so I was thinking virtual. Um, This is just my white jelly roll pin. Um. So, yeah, they've been in all person this whole time been glorious so glorious okay now my question for you guys is this um she's so bored yeah um do you want me to color the baby elephant with the same colors or would you rather me use like t or n so you can see the difference so tell me w t or n because w is what i already used or T or N. And I will do whatever it is that you guys would like. I love the elephant. I love the elephant too. And while you guys decide on that, I'm going to work on fussy cutting. Rainbow! Dude, Cameron, I did rainbow, and you weren't even here. It made me sad. Pink? No, I can't do pink. Use T. Jennifer says use T. So, meaner, meaner, meaner. Is there anybody coloring with me? That's what I want to know. Look at how much I have to concentrate to fussy cut. I won! <laughs> I would have rather been coloring than dealing with the drama that I had to deal with that day. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Drama. I hate drama. There's so much drama in the crafty world, you guys. Like, OMG. And I can't. I, I just can't. Like, here's my soapbox. I know I shouldn't touch this subject with a 10-foot pole. So I'm just going to get up on my soapbox for a half a second, okay? Um, everybody knows 
that all of us are, all of us crafters are real people, right? And we have families and we have things that happen. And we have health issues and we have all kinds of stuff. Working on my family scrap again. Um, things happen. It's not personal. Like it's not a personal attack on somebody. Things happen. Um, handle it with grace. Give people leeway. Um, we all say how important family is. And I know that we're a craft family too. But can we just be nice? Like, seriously, just be nice. Be understanding. Be forgiving. That's my soapbox. My TED Talk is now over. Drama pants. She's so much drama. I can't stand drama. It, it, yeah, it drives me nuts. I have a niece that drama follows her. She creates drama. She is, she is drama. I love her dearly. I adore her. But dang, that girl's got drama. All the time. It's like drama seeks her out. Knocks on her door. Is my fussy cutting boring, you all? You guys got all quiet. I guess my drama talk, my TED talk, ruined the mojo here. <laughs> An elephant never forgets. Oh man, I cut really close to his trunk. She doesn't so much create the drama, but everything has a dramatic response. And I am like, are you kidding me? Far worse than my voice were. <laughs> Is she your only girl? See, I have three older sisters. So I'm kind of used to the whole like drama in the household thing. Because, I mean, with three older sisters, you're not, old. <laughs> you're never very far from drama. So, that's a thing. There was always somebody with drama in the house. But then, when I married my husband, he is, like the most no drama person in the entire world. Like, not only is he himself low drama, but he just has a way of squashing drama. He's like a very linear thinker. And so he doesn't let drama bug him. And he's very good at dealing with drama situations. And he... Um, he's just a rock. And so my whole life since marrying him has been amazingly even keel. And I love that. But like we have zero drama and it's so wonderful. I highly recommend it. I have a bonus daughter who's told that she's a little dramatic, but... Sammy takes the cake. <laughs> uh, hey, you gotta be good at something, right? Sounds like she's exceedingly good at drama. There we go. Fussy cut complete. But I want to make the card while we're on the live, so I had to fussy cut Yep, me too. Yeah, Dale's like that too. Like, 
totally talks you through drama. Totally even keel, low key. Uh, two five, two three. All right, so I'm pulling out all of the T markers. Well, not all of them. Now my T markers, I know, I'm almost positive, are super wet. Super juicy. Um, and since this is a little guy, I'm going to zoom in some for you. Okay, so same scenario. I'm going to color piece by piece. Um, that's just the way I roll. But... FYI, um, since this guy is so much smaller, I'm going to color a little bit more at a time. Oh yeah, this marker is super juicy. Makes it hard to get super fine lines. She's the youngest of four, and her older brother has spoiled. Oh, I get you. I smell what you're stepping in. All right. And then his little back leg back here, I'm going to color. Okay, so that's what I mean by like, I'm gonna color a little bit more at a time. Just like a couple more pieces. I'm the youngest of four. Are you saying that I'm drama? What? <laughs> I was kind of spoiled, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Because my sisters might watch the replay. Well, one of them does. My one sister, Christy, she always, not always, but a lot of times she will watch. So, you know, you are very spoiled. <laughs> See, you get it. You get what's going on. <laughs> I mean, spoiled's not a bad thing per se. My um, my son's an only child, and he's spoiled. But he also knows he's spoiled, so he's not a jerk about it. Which I think is really good. He's appreciative of his spoiledness. And he understands that, like, it's a good thing. Because he's always like, I'm so glad I don't have any siblings and I don't have to share my stuff. <laughs> I'm like, you're a smart kid. Okay. So this T doesn't look like super different on screen until I put them side by side and then you'll see the difference. But I just want you to see that like these grays are different colors. So for those of you that are working on your Copic collections, um, and a lot of people ask me, you know, do I need all those grays? Um, yes, yes and no. Like you probably don't need them right away. You don't need them this second. Like if it's not in the budget, you're not going to die without them. However, do you need them eventually? Oh, absolutely. Because these grays are all very different. And once you get used to coloring and are, you know, knee deep in your coloring journey. Kathy, you're here. Hi, Kathy. You snuck in. I didn't see you. You do have an only child. Um, anyways, what I was saying before Kathy distracted me, sheesh, Kathy, uh, <laughs> you will start to notice how different they really are. 
and which ones you prefer to use and which ones you kind of don't like using. Um, and you'll go in spurts. Um, sometimes you'll be really into using the C markers like a lot and sometimes not so much. Um, so you'll get them and start playing around with them and realize how different they really are and how you like using them for different things. And it will kind of change your Copic coloring. Like I said, you know, you're going to want to, you know, use some for, you found that you needed them last weekend. <laughs> you're going to want, you know, some of them for, you know, like I said, coloring animals and some of them for coloring um, metal and, you know, just all kinds of different things. Um, you know, gray skies and stuff like that. So, do you need them all right now? No. Will you need them all? Yes. Happy to have shed some light on that subject for anybody who was wondering. Not that anybody asked, but just for anybody who was wondering. Trouble here. I'm here to say I thought I could get by without all of the colors until I actually took the caps off. Got ready to color. I needed you to set me up on a monthly shift. <laughs> I mean, I'm more than happy to. I don't have like a lot of markers in stock right now, though. That's the problem. I can set you up on a monthly stamp shipment, though. <coughs> April release. It's awesome. The April release is so cute. And it's super duper diverse. Like there's something for everyone. Something different for everyone. That means that Nona and Aunt Candy probably want to go to breakfast. They like going to breakfast before the release because then I always bring them their stamps before the release because they're on the I just want all the things plan <laughs> where they literally want all the things from every release and I mean who am I to deny that You never really used T or N until you met me. And then I started making you use T and N. Because they're the bomb diggity. They're just so different. It's very, very, very different. And I wasn't a believer either until I started really playing with them. And I really sat down and made like a true effort to figure out like, why is there four different, yes, hashtag all the things, um, and really sat down and figured out why there was four different kinds of grays. Like Copic isn't a brand that just, you know, does stuff kind of willy nilly, you know? Like if you look at all the Copic stuff, it's very deliberate. And um, when I started using these T and N markers, cause I have full set syndrome. Like, I'm okay admitting it. I have full set syndrome. And I had to have them because they're part of the full set. So I was going to have them anyways, regardless of if I used them or not. And um, <laughs> I can hear my mom's dog barking. Bobo, come here, babe. Um, So I was going to buy them regardless of if I use them or not. However... Um, once I really sat down, like I said, and really started using them, I found out how am amazing, I was going to say amazing, and then it sort of switched to awesome, and it came out am awesome. Um, <laughs> so I figured out how am awesome they really are. It's a new word. Hashtag am awesome. I'm sorry about the little dog being noisy. It 
can't really help it right now though. So, sorry. Oh my gosh. Bobo, stop, honey. Hey, stop. Thank you. Look at this baby elephant. Rhea, you made it. Hello. Everybody, this is Rhea. Rhea, this is everybody. I feel like it's the beginning of an AA meeting. Everybody goes, hi, Rhea. I've never been to an AA meeting, so I wouldn't know, but. It's what I see on TV. So that's a thing, right? If it's on TV, it must be true. I'm a completist. <laughs> Heck yeah, Jennifer. So you're my kind of people. It's true. I gotta have the full set. I just do. So that's why I started playing with these markers though because I was like okay they're here I can't just let them sit there for no reason so I need to figure out what they're all about and so I just started playing and I found out that they really are necessary and they are quite amazing and they're quite different than the other grays and that was helpful because it widened it widened my um, world of what I could color. I did at one point do a an entire picture um, with just the different gray color families. Um, hi, I'm Rhea, and I'm addicted to Copic markers. Hi, Rhea. <laughs> Or C&W are dry. Okay, well, yeah, if you're C&W are dry, and we all know we're in a worldwide refill shortage at this time. So that makes sense. Thank you, Sandy, for being the voice of reason. Stop texting and driving before I beat you senseless. Hee hee hee. Um, unless you're already there, then in that case, continue. Uh, <laughs> um, 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 um. I forgot what I was saying. Use the grays. The grays are amazing. That's what I was saying. It widens your world of what you can actually color. And you don't really... Oh, that's what I was saying is I colored a... Um, I colored a card using all the different colors of gray. So, like, um, I colored the character on the card in all, like, sepia tones. Like, the warm grays, the W's. And then I colored the, um, there was a forest around her and I colored the forest in the T's and the N's. And then I put like a stream, like a little creek in the foreground, like she was hiking along the creek. And I used the C's for that. And with all of them together in one picture, you could really, really see the difference. Um, between the colors of gray. And it was really cool because it was all gray, but yet it was super duper colorful. I'm not, I'm in the food drive through getting dinner. Ooh, what's for dinner? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm super hungry. I'm on this whole like weight loss journey thing and I'm finally starting to lose some weight. So now I'm like afraid to eat anything because I don't want to gain weight back. It's totally a thing. But I can live vicariously through you, Sandy. So by all means, tell me what you're eating. I'm not starving myself, just so you guys know. That is not how I believe in losing weight. I believe in eating healthier and moving more. Um, and eating in moderation. So like... 
I can still have cheesecake. I just can't have like a chunk of cheesecake. I have to have like a sliver. And that's just not right because cheesecake should always come in chunks. <laughs> like big, massive, huge chunks of cheesecake. That's what I want. I digress. So I'm going to color his little tongue in this lighter pink color. And then I'm going to grab my RV95, which is a super dark pink, to color the inside of his mouth. Like that. And then, like I did with the last one, I'm going to take the T's and I'm going to come up where his ears have pleats in them, just like I would color pleats on a dress or a shirt or whatever. Bo, honey, stop. Bo, stop. He's like kneading his pillow. Popeyes, you know what? There is a Popeyes here in Nampa now, Sandy, and I still haven't gone there. And I kind of want to. But I've never, ever, ever gone to a Popeye's. Glenda wants Popeye's. That's cute. She's like, I need food. Bobo, stop. Just lay down, buddy. I'm sorry if he's super noisy for you guys. You love Popeye's? Well then, homie, when you come to visit, we'll go. Probably not as good in Idaho as it is in the South, because it's like a Southern restaurant, isn't it? But hey, it's a chain, so it's gotta be close to the same no matter where you're at, right? My husband is obsessed with Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Oh, you can't hear him? Okay, that's good, because he's exceedingly loud where from where I'm sitting. <laughs> like, excessively loud. <laughs> so back to my multi-liner. He's such a little troublemaker. He is um, into everything because he's so, you know, such a baby. And Cajun Dale loves it too. Um, You know, he's such a tiny, he's only four months old. So he's, you know, tiny, tiny. So he's curious about everything. And man, oh man, it's like having a toddler in your house again. It's crazy. Okay. Put a little highlight on his forehead because that's what I do. So look at the color difference. I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but this one is a lot warmer. It's a lot more brown than the tea. Oh yeah, you can see. You can see the difference. Okay, so now we're gonna fussy cut the baby. And you guys are going, you guys are about to see just how anal retentive I am at fussy cutting. Because even though you watched me cut the big one out, the big one doesn't have any like holes in it. And this one does like right there. Yeah, that's going to get cut out because that's one of my pet peeves. Is like you cut out all of this stuff and then you put put this on a piece of paper and there's like a white piece right there. Oh my gosh, it drives me crazy. I just can't do it. And that is part of why I fussy cut and don't use dyes so much. But I'm telling you, my eyesight is going. And I'm going to have to start using dyes more often. Dang it, Sandy, now I want food. Like Chick-fil-A, but it's Sunday, so I can't have Chick-fil-A. My husband, he's so sweet. He's like, 
Hey babe, you want me to take you over to Hobby Lobby so you can go shopping and then take you to lunch at Chick-fil-A? And I'm like, oh, that sounds like it could be, oh man, it's Sunday. And he starts laughing. I'm like, you're such a scoundrel. Such a nice guy. I know you cringe with that. <laughs> Sandy knows me too well. Okay. So there's that. Now I have my craft knife. Usually I just like poke my scissors through and cut, but this is such a tiny spot that it's, that wouldn't work. It would look awful and all jagged and stuff. So I can't do that. It's mo better. It's so much mo better. All right. So, um, before the live, whoo. Oops, I don't want to zoom in. I want to zoom out. There we go. Sorry about the earthquake. Earthquake. There we go. Okay. So before the live, I made this card and this is, um, a five and a half by five and a half. Um, you don't leave white anymore. <laughs> um, so this is a five and a half by five and a half and I used a corner rounder just to round the corners. Um, I cut the black panel at five and a quarter, um, and then I cut the, this is sweet sentiment paper at five and an eighth. Um, so that's the graduation on those. Um, and then I cut the, this is the same black paper. I'm sorry, words are hard for me right now, apparently. Um, so I cut this black paper. Um, after I stamped and embossed the sentiment. So that's embossed with white embossing powder. And um, the this is the plumed mandala stencil um, that was part of the new release as well. And then I used, um, let's see, what distress inks did I use? This is, uh, hold on, I have to think. This is fossilized amber. And this is Spiced Marmalade. This is Crackling Campfire. And the red is Aged Mahogany. And then black. Black soot. So those are the ones that I used. I don't know why my camera decided it wanted to go wonky. Yikes. Sorry, guys. My camera just decided that it wanted to be all kinds of silly and not hold where I wanted it to. Okay, so we have like a weird angle on this. Again, my apologies, but I don't wanna make you guys all super seasick. There. Okay, so that's all of the colors that I used on that, and I just used my um, Rabbit Hole Designs bunny brushes on it, and that's it. Um, if you guys are on TikTok, I am Jamie Clark 37 on TikTok and um I also shared it to my Instagram uh peeling the stencil off of this. OMG, it makes me so so happy to pull the stencils off of these like you guys have no idea. Um <laughs> I just absolutely love it. 
So then what we're going to do is we're going to take the elephants and we're going to place them on here. And um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to grab one of my super amazing brand new product that's going to come into the store. And this is called a wobble, also known as a sweet spring. And these, I finally found the perfect size to put into the store. And I'm also going to grab my sweet pops. So, I'm gonna grab a couple of sweet pops. And what I do with mine is they come on the roll and I just cut them off of the roll so that I can have them in individual size. Um, I don't know if it's laziness, convenience, whatever you want to call it but that is just what I like to do so feel free I think Sandy's friends saw that that's Sammy loves the wobbles well good they're gonna be in the shop um for the new release um Sandy's friends saw that I use my sweet pops this way and so they all made Sandy cut them what do you use to hold your stencil in place? Um, I use Pixie Spray. I love Pixie Spray. That stuff is the bomb.com. And yes, I always use a gajillion sweet pops. I mean, they're super cheap. So yeah. And then I love them because you can, oops, cut them down to whatever size you want. And that makes it easy to use them. In different places. I thought of everything. Archie Nohan. Archie's gonna be growling at people walking by. So my apologies in advance because whenever somebody walks a dog past our house you know Archie has to protect hey Arch no 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 all right so now I'm peeling the backing off of all of these so honestly to make this background it took me like five minutes maximum it's a very quick background. It's a very quick card to put together. You guys saw it took me like maybe 20 minutes to color. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it took me like an hour to color the elephants. Um, and that's because I was explaining everything. I'm trying to put this in a good place to kind of ground that elephant without covering the sentiment. So there's that. Okay, now here's the, the sweet spring. So what you're going to want to do is there's adhesive on both sides of it. So, um, so you don't need anything extra to adhere this to your card. So since I have these nails, it's hard for me to get the adhesive off of there. Because um, I'm a dork. And these nails are super thick. So I just like to grab my little tweezers and pull them off. But if you don't have crazy thick nails, it's fine. Um, and then this side has, this side is clear and then this side is wobbly. And so what I like to do is put, and you can do this either way, whichever way you want, but I put the side that is white on the character. And these things are super duper sticky. So once they're stuck, like they're, they're stuck. He ain't moving. Um, pixie spray. Yep. <laughs> pixie spray. So then you take the clear part. And so I like to have the clear part on the card because sometimes you can see it a little bit. So if it's clear, it's not as noticeable. And you put the clear part on the card and then you push it down. 
And now you have a little wobbly elephant. And you can kind of adjust the spring a little bit once it's down. How cute is that? Um, I also love that it gives it a different dimension. So like this elephant is back a little bit more than this elephant. But yeah, there you go. And it's that easy to use a wobble. Like super fast, super easy, sweet springs. There's going to be 10 per package. They're going to be only $6.99. So super inexpensive. And there we go. I'm late. Linda Lou who? <laughs> We're time to wrap up. So thank you guys for joining me again. Um, we used, let me find it. We used our Ages Irrelevant um, stamp from the brand new release. We used our plumed mandala stencil for um, from the brand new release. And um, I just used Distress Oxide inks for that and Sweet Sentiment paper. And there we go. He's colored in W's and he's colored with T's. And I'll post that list if you guys want me to. So thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for sharing. Um, I believe I had two girls that shared. So I'm going to, um, I'll catch the replay. That's okay, you can catch the replay. Um, two girls that shared when I asked. So Jen and um, thanks Kathy. I'm so glad that you made it here. Um, I'm sorry, who else was it that shared? It was Jennifer and somebody else. I'll scroll back and look at it. But you guys can DM me for your prize. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Um, next Sunday, we are going to be coloring Happy Dog. So the last stamp set from this um, April release, I'm sorry, from this March release, that has not yet been colored. So next Sunday, we will be coloring the Happy Dog stamp set. So if you haven't yet ordered it, please do so. Um, that way you can color along if you want. Again, uh, the paper will be coming in. So um, I have my fingers crossed that it'll get here this week. It might be next week. Um, but please use one of the um, links the affiliate links from one of the girls in the design team. They're more than happy to share those with you. Or if you know Lydia Fiedler or Becky Roberts, they both have links as well. Um, and you can find those on their blogs. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Same bat channel, same bat place, all right? Thank you guys for joining me. Love you all and toodles.